Hey guys, it's the Four Plays here, and welcome back to another Blade Ball update preview. This week again is full of insane updates, so let's just get this started. Also, I'm giving away three limiteds to three lucky winners. All you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment your username, and make sure to check your inventory because it'll be automatically sent to you if you win. All right, now let's get back to the video. Thank you, Mr. B, for that insane giveaway. So let's just get into the updates. First off, the lobby spin wheel has been updated. There will be the good fan, which is 1% chance. After that, you get the dual good fan fans at 0.1% chance and then the final tier is going to be the evil dual fans at 0.01 so you can find these right now in the new spin wheel so good luck spinning for them up next blade ball duels got an update so there's a new three versus three mode added to the game so now you and two friends can battle three other people in the new duels as well there's a new no ability mode added to the game as well which exists for 1v1 2v2 3v3 and 4v4 so good luck dueling in these new modes. Look it up to spice your new 3v3 duels with a new ability that I have something for you. The new scope of phobia ability has been added. This ability forces players to move away from you until they are out of the eyes ability range. Sadly, this ability doesn't affect bots. This ability affects everyone within the eyes field of vision, so you can take on multiple targets at the same time. You can as well move while using this ability, so you can use it to push targets into a corner or a wall if desired. So this is the ultimate ability to counter close range combat, maxing this ability as well increases the range of the affected area in front of the player. So I am super excited to see what people are going to cook up with this new ability. Up next, we got some updates to Blade Ball Dungeons. As you can see, there's a new dungeon crafting system added into the game. Players are now able to collect items dropped by mobs. These items can be used to craft new explosions, emotes, and swords. For example, you need 10 iron bars, 5 particle jars, and 7 room gems to make a blade of arrows. You can find the new crafter, of course, in the dungeon lobby on the left. So I'm going to be excited to see you guys all craft these rewards. And last but not least, from Saturday, 10 a.m. EST, there will be a 48-hour 2 times luck event. This will affect the battle pass spins and as well the AFK world. So be sure to grind a lot and make use of that 2 times luck. So that's it for this week. Let me know what your favorite update was of today's video in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with Blade Ball. And be sure to check out any of the other Blade Ball videos right now on the screen. See you later. The file plays out.